So some of you guys may or may not have seen my Ryzen benchmarks that I posted about a week ago. So in that video I compared the Ryzen 7 1700X, it's an 8 core 16 thread processor at 3.4 gigahertz and retails for about $399. I compared that against the Core i7 5960X, um, Intel's closest equivalent that I could get my hands on. It goes for about $1000 and is again an 8 core 16 thread processor. I also compared it against AMD's old 8 core, the FX 8370, which goes for about $180. <clears throat> and I found generally what I expected. The Ryzen processor won, followed very closely by the Intel processor, and then the old AMD FX processor lagging quite a bit behind. So, yeah. Conclusion from that was Ryzen is great. It offers amazing performance for very little money and it's great. I mean, I have it powering my personal rig right now, the Ryzen 7 1700X. But a few days ago, in the mail, I received from AMD the Ryzen Review Kit. And this came with a Ryzen 7 1700 non-X, so that's 8 cores at 3 gigahertz. Um, it retails for about $329 instead of $399. And I also got in this kit the Gigabyte GAAX370 Gaming 5 motherboard. So thank you so much to AMD for sending me this. Just, it's really cool to know that I'm on your list of reviewers. I'm not going to be putting this in my main rig. I mean, I have my 1700X, which is better. But I do have a really cool build planned for this. So it'll be my first build on this channel that's not just like building a computer for a friend and me making a video out of it. Like, an actual build based around this. I think that's going to be really cool. Stay subscribed to check that out. But without further ado, let's add in the 1700 to the mix and see how it performs against its slightly more expensive bigger brother and against the other chips. So my first first ten test was Cinebench R15 multi-threaded. I didn't do single threaded here. The FX8370 scored 612. The 5960X got 1525. And as you guys may or may not remember, the 1700X got the exact same score as its Intel counterpart, 1525. Now something very interesting here. The 1700 non-X actually scored 1380. Quite a bit behind its older brother. CPU-Z uh, told a slightly different story. The 8370 got uh, 1219 in single-threaded and 7707 in multi-threaded. The Intel chip got a 1771 single-threaded, 15,425 in multi-threaded. The 1700X got a 2196 single-threaded 18,143 in multi-threaded. The 1700 non-X got a 1861 single-threaded, so it beats out the Intel chip in this test, but not quite as good as its higher clocked uh, counterpart, the 1700X. In multi-threaded, it got very close to the i7, beating it just by a hair with 15,798. So about 300 points better in multi-threaded CPU-Z. Um, for um, actual real-world applications, Adobe Premiere, I exported two videos, one in 1080p, one in 4K. The 1080p video is my CES recap video, which you should definitely go check out. And the 4K video is my Ryzen What We Know So Far video that I made back in January um, that you should also definitely go check out. So 1080p, the 8370 took 11 minutes and 40 seconds to export. The Intel chip got 7 minutes and 14 seconds. The 1700X, 7 minutes 35 seconds. And the 1700, 8 minutes and 8 seconds. So about a minute or so behind its Intel chip, which is more than three times the price. And about 30 seconds behind its older Ryzen counterpart, which is about... 30 or no, which is about $70 more expensive. In 4K, the FX processor gets 50 to 50 minutes and 37 seconds. That's quite a long time. 
the Intel chip 36 minutes and 43 seconds, the 1700X 30 minutes and 16 seconds, and the 1700 non-X 32 minutes and 44 seconds. So in this case, just like its older brother, it is beating out the Intel chip by a non-negligible margin. A minute or so is what I would consider a negligible margin, like in the 1080p video. All the 8 cores are about the same, or all the true 8 cores are about the same, I should say. But in 4K, no. The 1700 and 1700 X are pretty close to the Ryzen chips, pretty close in about half an hour, and the Intel lagging behind by a good 6 minutes or so. So, conclusion here. There's no surprises here at all. I'm not surprised by these sets. Well, except Cinebench, I was a little surprised by the low 1700 score. But other than that, real world tests, CPUs, e, everything is exactly as I expected. Both of the chips um, serve as great competition to Intel at its mere fraction of the cost, but they, neither one really offers a clear benefit over the other. The 1700 is significantly cheaper, and the 1700X is, does have a higher performance by, again, like two and a half minutes in 4K. So, you know, it all depends on what you really want. If you do want more performance, the 1700X, or maybe even the 1800X would be a good option for you if you want something much cheaper, closer to the $300 mark, that's where the 1700 would come in. So they both have a place, and I think AMD went, made some very good decisions pricing these two chips. So yeah, that's it for this video. I promise you guys I will get the personal rig update video done very soon. I just need to film the B-roll. I want to get some nice shots of this and then do a kind of film a conclusion. I should be able to get that done today. So maybe sometime in the next few days, maybe next weekend, I should get that video up there. Stay subscribed so you see that. And also stay subscribed as soon as possible. I'm going to be doing the build with the Ryzen 7 1700 and the Gigabyte GA AX370 Gaming 5 motherboard, which so far is a very nice motherboard with a lot of fancy bells and whistles. So, yep, yeah, that's it for this video. Again, thank you so much to AMD for putting me on this list and sending me this review kit. The box is on its own. It's just really nice looking. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked this video. Leave a comment telling me what you think about Ryzen. Are you buying one of the chips? Let me know. Maybe it's one of the Ryzen 5 chips that was just announced. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos here on my channel. Anyways, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.